Ray and Dana, good evening. Most of the candidates for mayor sharing a stage tonight discussing the issues plaguing Chicago voters. Now it's early still, but these candidates are ready for a fight. Tonight, mayoral hopefuls courting voters on the northwest side. We'll take the handcuffs off the police officer and put them on a truck. I'm tired of politicians who don't keep their word. I'm tired of the political systems not working in the best interests of people all across this city. The city does not work for each and every one of you here today. We need somebody who can lead with collaboration, not confrontation. Eight of the 11 candidates in the race came out tonight to the 41st Ward Democrats Forum sponsored by several unions. When you're up in the northwest part of the city, you're talking about working class, you're talking about police and fire, and typically this is a group that Lori Lightfoot did well with last time around. But other candidates think they can make some gain in this area. The candidates discuss crime, keeping businesses in Chicago, and the role of city council. Mayor Lori Lightfoot was not on hand. According to her campaign, she had a scheduling conflict. Also absent tonight, Congressman Jesus Chuy Garcia. Garcia and Lightfoot's rivals pounced. The mayor has not shown up for Chicago at all in the last three and a half years, and so I don't expect anything less tonight. Well, Lori's not here because she has too much to defend, and Chuy's not here because he's still trying to figure out what he's going to say. This previous, this current administration has broken every single promise, but I'm a promise keeper. Today, Lightfoot released her third TV commercial, an emotional spot. I wouldn't be sitting here but for the sacrifices that my parents made for me. As Lightfoot spends big on advertising, Garcia is showing early momentum. A poll funded by Operating Engineers Local 150 found Garcia leading Lightfoot by seven points. But political analyst Paul Lisnick says the contest is far from over. So Garcia is getting a lot of support, obviously, from some unions and a lot of funding coming in. But arguably, he might have gotten into this race just a little bit late because some of those important units already signed on with one of his opponents, Brandon Johnson. Tonight, the Chicago Federation of Labor declined to pick a candidate in the race. They're going to remain neutral. That would have been a big one. But of course, all that matters in the end are who the voters choose. We're live tonight on the Northwest Side. Tamon Bradley, WGN News.